I want to share a few buyer tips with you when you're out there searching for your home. Now, when you're out there shopping, you're going to be looking at either a single family home or a condo, and the lens through which we approach each is similar with a few key differences. Since we're standing here in our beautiful one bedroom listing here in Kahala Regency, let's start with condos. Just as you would with a single family home, you're going to want to identify the important values to you. That could be parking. Is it covered? If it's more than one stall, is it side by side or tandem? And the location of the parking space. Believe it or not, it also follows the old adage of location, location, location. And that equates to dollar value. The condition of the building and the unit itself. Uh, what is the overall appearance of the common areas like the hallways, the lobby, the amenities? Does the building have spalling or any paint peeling issues? These are all indicators of how well managed or not the building is. Um, safety and security, if that's important to you, is the parking and the entry secured? Uh, does the FOB allow access to all floors or is it just programmed to your floor? Uh, fire sprinklers, that's a big one nowadays. Does the unit have fire sprinklers or what is going to be the plan to install a fire safety system uh, retroactively? Other values to consider would be the stack. A stack refers to the vertical position of the unit in relation to the floor layout. Uh, we're standing in stack B of this beautiful unit and it would be considered the more desirable side because we're east facing, so it's cooler and it has the most ocean views. And of course your amenities. Does it have a pool and a gym, uh, movie theaters or guest suites? Now keep in mind that the more amenities you have, the, the higher your maintenance fee will be. Speaking of which, maintenance fees are a unique factor to condo home ownership. A maintenance fee is the monthly assessment that the owner pays that contributes to the general maintenance of the building um, and can also include basic utilities like sewer and water. Now when we're assessing whether a maintenance fee is reasonable, we like to calculate it by using dollars per square foot. Um, so our general rule of thumb is anything less than $1.25 is considered reasonable. Another part of your due diligence that's unique to condo home buying is reviewing the condo docs. These documents detail important factors about the association, like the reserve balance and the budgets. This details the financial health of the association, the meeting minutes. This will be recorded from the association board meetings and will provide current issues um, and insight to any sort of upcoming special assessment. So now let's talk about a few tips when you're searching for a single family home. Just as you would with a condo, you're gonna conduct a home inspection, but a home inspection for a single family home will be a little more extensive because you are solely responsible for every aspect of that property, from the roof to the attic, the structural integrity, the foundation, um, the waistlines, anything of that nature. And one of the biggest factors of a single family home is the age. And oftentimes, if it's out of sight, it's out of mind. So most often, we find that people don't pay attention to the sewer line. So if there's a home that's older than 50 years in age, we always recommend to do a sewer scope. And some other buyer tips that encompass purchasing both a condo and a single family home will just be to understand your rights as a buyer. Did you know there are seven ways to cancel on a contract? You have your seller's disclosure, your home inspection period, your review of your title report, condo docs, survey, termite inspection, and finally financing contingencies. And the bottom line is there are so many aspects to purchasing a home. The most important tip I can leave you with today is to find your team of experts, your lender. They should be a reputable local lender because they have, they have familiarity with the market. Um, and of course, your realtor. Your realtor should genuinely understand your goals, your needs, and your wants. They should have an in-depth knowledge of the market and an expertise in understanding the purchase contract to help you navigate and advocate for you on the highest level. And of course, communication and the eagerness to educate you through every step of the way.